Hello, my name is Charles Malky, biologist and plant expert with Ivory Organics, where we grow cool plants, and I'm proud to share with you that this is now our second weekend, and this weekend being um, May 5th and May 6th, Saturday and Sunday, May 5th and May 6th, Ivory Organics will be here at the Anawalt and Lumber location located at 11060 West Pico Boulevard in Los Angeles, California. I'm gonna put their address right here and they're gonna have an entire weekend, both Saturday and Sunday with lecturers teaching on different topics and I'll put that schedule towards the end of this video. But I would like to encourage all of you to do your best to attend the Sunday morning at 11 a.m. lecture with the professor and instructor at the Silmar Agricultural Learning Center in Silmar, Steve List, will be teaching that course and I will be doing my best to attend that lecture in addition to attending to my booth as well. So I'm hoping all of you can come down and visit me and let me share with you some of the products that they have on their shelf here with the Ivory Organics products and the amazing value that they're giving away with this event being the annual spring garden festival again here at the Anawalt lumber location in los angeles and we expect all of our products to be in all four or five of their stores throughout the los angeles area in the upcoming weeks so for all of you in the los angeles area you'll now have a local store to find the ivory organics product so let's quickly tour this amazing garden center got so many great things check this out So our products can be found here at the Anawalt location on aisle 22 and come and follow me. And now here we are, the Ivory Organic section on aisle 22 and you can see they've got it, they're only down to two spray bottles, a lot more pint cans and check out this pricing.
And so the Anawalt's annual spring garden festival special blowout pricing um, is going on now, this May 5th and 6th, this Saturday and Sunday, um, May 5th and 6th, 2018. And looking forward to hopefully seeing all of you here. So this here is a snapshot of the booth that we have set up here at Anawalt Lumber. And now let me take you back to the site where I prepared all of these plants so you can see in more detail um, some of the demonstration plants I've brought to our booth. So if you come in a little closer, you can see with the demonstration that we brought um, for our booth, we've got over here a fig specifically. Um, you can take over here the brown turkey fig. And what we've done is we've coated it. If I can pull some of these leaves back to get a little bit more sunlight on it. We've coated in Ivy Organics color green and white and brown. And typically when you go out to the orchards, you may see, you know, a lot of farmers typically use um, white as the preferred color, but I'm here demonstrating the fact that Ivy Organics can be sold in colors green and brown as well if you're looking for a more um, aesthetically, um, more natural looking um, look, you have those alternatives available. And by coating it, regardless of the color, obviously white is going to reflect the most light, but regardless, by putting on a shirt or by clothing your tree trunks, you're protecting them from sunburn. In addition to, if you're using the yellow label products, those have the added oils in it. And let's take a look at the back of the label here. You can take a look here that it has the additional benefits of castor oil and cinnamon and clove and garlic and peppermint, rosemary and spearmint. And what these oils will do is it'll also create a natural barrier against rodents as well as insects. If you take a look here specifically on the fig, if you take a look where they pruned it last, right over here, I just recently coated it, but you can see, and I was able to quickly pop this, but there is um, an opening. And that's because the fig pith is often very soft and will collapse and be a perfect entryway for pests to enter and begin to hollow out that supporting wood structure of the tree. If there are any grafted trees, which are pretty much all of the fruit trees you'll buy from your nursery, in addition to roses, um, but with you grafted, they'll typically be wounds as well that could benefit from being coated and um, basically with the added protection of the insect repellent oils that are in the yellow label. And then the blue label, Ivory Organics, are oil free. The primary function as a whitewash is to offer your plants that summer protection from summer sunburn as well as winter sun scald. However, over here, I've also brought a demonstration where if you come in a little closer, you can see what I've um, organized over here is I've got my tomatoes and over here I got some basil and over here I've got my zucchini squash plants and I've even got um, some zinnias as a color choice but regardless of the flowers and fruits and vegetables that you're planting in your garden all of them can benefit from being sprayed with this product over here the Ivory Organics 3-in-1 Plant Guard Ready to Use Spray, protection against damaging sunburn insects and rodents and many of you may have experienced that when you typically plant your plant even on a beautiful day to like today that's 75, maybe 80 degrees, the days being longer, being now we're in spring, we're experiencing close to a 13 hour long sunny day. Um, as we get closer to summer for your plantings, those are 14 hour days of sun. And that may be too much sun and add to stress that will otherwise compromise the health and the life of the plant. So what we do immediately upon installation of the plant is we'll spray it with the ready to use spray like so. And if you come in a little closer, you'll see the very light white protection that's now gonna relieve the plant from the excess sunlight and help create a cooler plant that'll get better established and less stressed so you'll see results a lot faster. One other quick tip I wanna share with you as well is when it comes to planting your tomatoes, unlike your squash and your peppers and your basil and even your color spots, um, when it comes to your tomatoes, they benefit tremendously by being planted deeper. Depending on how many leaves you have, um, I recommend removing about 50% of the leaves depending on the height. So we're gonna go up about halfway and what we're gonna do, and all of these leaves will go into our compost pile, but what we're gonna do is remove all those leaves and including these suckers, you can see there's some sucker growth down there. We're gonna remove that and we can remove one more leaf 
And what we're gonna do is we're gonna end up planting these tomatoes about one to two inches deeper. Depending on the height of your tomato plant, I recommend planting your plants about 50% of its height deeper into the ground. And what that'll do is encourage more roots. It'll immediately root out and that'll increase the absorption of fertilizers and nutrients and, um, and basically create a more stable and longer lasting and more productive tomato plant. So that's our tip to you. And again, don't forget upon installation to then spray it with the Ivory Organics ready to use spray. One other tip I wanna share with all of you is, and um, I get this question a lot is, when it comes to the cans, do I need to buy both products? And the answer is no. If you take a look at the back of the label, and this applies to the whitewash as well as the three-in-one product, you can see over here the brush on direction simply require that you fill up the can contents with water. And then as a foliar spray, it says right here, you can dilute it by taking one to two teaspoons of the prepared brush on solution per gallon of water. So you're simply going to take one to two teaspoons of the pint can and add that to a gallon of water to create the foliar spray. And as a tree paste directions, you're going to add only a quarter cup of water to have about a third of a can of tree paste, which will be ideal for patching any damage to your trees or any grafts. Um, and it'll be ideal in that application as well. Um, hoping this helped answer a lot of your questions and really excited to hopefully seeing you at the Anawalt Lumber Garden Show this Saturday and Sunday. Looking forward to seeing you all there.